G'day folks, Rich Burdess from Datacom, Christchurch, New Zealand with a quick guide here of how to push people fields uh, via collecting up to SharePoint. Um, so we've got an app here which we can use to create um, pursuits, right, an example. Um, lots of blah to fill out, but the key form is this particular um, page. And on this page, I'm going to gather a collection of reviewers using a SharePoint um, look up to a uh, person field, grab that, and then I'm going to have a list of uh, people that I want to assign to this list, and it, and it could be any amount of people, right? So that's the key thing with a sh with a form. Um, Go to SharePoint. I yeah, I I can put one person into that form, or I can have multiple columns or with people fields, which is what this piece at the top does. But for this piece here, for reviewers, it could be any number of people, right? So I want to send them to a SharePoint list, which is going to grab reviewers, going to put people's names in there uh, with a status and a role. So we've got choice fields for reviewer role, reviewer role and choice fields for status and a person field for reviewer. So let's see what how this works um, and then I'll talk you through how it um, how you can do it too. Right, so let's do grab some people. So it'll grab me and then give myself a role. So that collects the information that I've just put in there. Um, let's grab someone else. Um, and let's make something a different role there. Okay, so I've got a collection. That button there does my collection. I'll explain that in a second. And this button here is going to push this information to SharePoint. So those guys don't exist at the moment, and those are people fields. So to show you um, that they are, let's just do this. So review role, person and group, status choice, review role is choice as well, right? Just so we got that covered. Go back to the list. Do you do speedy internet today? Um, here we go. Right, so let's push the button. Collect those people up. So that's just pushed three rows um, up, and the collect action that we're doing in that is is really quick, um, and they should just show up magically right here. Cool, and there we go. So three rows, so me, Sunny, and Anna, um, and then the statement that we used to push that collection to the SharePoint list is one line. So my collection is called call reviewers one. And then my data source is pursuit reviewers. And I just collect that. Key there is that you have to make sure that your columns in your collection match the columns that you're going to push to. With a SharePoint list, you need to make sure you're covering the various field types you might get um, and, and account for those. So that's the complicated bit. Um, make sure you do have all of your fields. So you may not want to show all those fields um, to the end user, but you need to account for them when you collect back. So let's first up talk through the collection. Local collection shows here. Call reviewers, there's my people. And you see those are the three complex field types in SharePoint that are happening. And I'm just taking today's date and giving them a parent ID of one. In the actual application, we do a, um, a variable for the parent ID of the item. These are like child items against the parent item of the, um, the request. And so they'll update to the ID that matches, but that's a um, different method, which I'll talk about another time. But these ones, here we go. We've got um, the reviewer. Click into it, and you can see we've got the complex field types for um, SP exp list expanded user, and that's me. Um, and then for reviewer, that's the role. So it's you know, it'd be reviewer role dot selected dot value. So that's the value you see in there. Um, and the same for status, right? So it's dot value is new. So to get what you need to do for pushing this into the SharePoint list I've got. Those are the six fields that I want to push to SharePoint, and those are the six fields that exist in the column, sorry, in the list. And so I need to match, so that's a date field. I need to make sure that's going to go through as a date. That's a number field. I need to make sure it's going to go number, title is just text, and these are the complex ones, right? So let's look at the button that does adding the reviewer to this collection here, right? So that's just the, the people um, that we've selected. But the key piece here, when you want to add into SharePoint, is to get um, everything right. So you don't need the OData piece for this. Um, 
It's not like you're patch. So if you're patching, then you would, but you don't actually need to show it. In I'll just get rid of that, move it up a little bit, so it's a bit easier. But you'd normally, if you were patching uh, to a um, a list choice field, um, you'd put the O data expanded reference. Don't need it for um, setting the choice field, so status and review a role uh, choices. So I just need to show either, so the good example here, we've got value is new because I'm just going to hard code it to show you can hard code, um, or here, um, and I obviously I'm using my awesome naming convention of data card value 19, but that's the reviewer role piece, and then same for all these ones, that's the person field. So if I data card 19 is, move this up, the purple one, and then review is the green one, right? So the reviewer role is data card value 13. So when you're pushing um, a person field here, um, you do obviously you collect the name um, of the column that you want to have in your collection because it could have any name, but you want to match make it match what's going to be in the SharePoint list. Okay, then you colon and then to make that um, be a table record type. Um, entity that you're going to collect, you've got to whack it into the squiggly brackets, put it, you do have to, for people person, person field, you do have to put in the um, SP list expanded user OData type call, and then you can call in here. Now this field um, is a form field uh, that I'm, I'm grabbing, and it, if you use a, a form field on a, a person field from SharePoint, you get all this um, information that you need really, really easily, right? So you need to have all these in, um, otherwise um, collecting an, a blank one of these doesn't necessarily work all the time. So the field, here I've got a form, this is a form um, for pursuit reviewers and then my value of my form or my choice field for my people um, is just items and it's call, sorry choices, uh, pursuit reviewers dot reviewer and so that's you need all you need for the people um, and that will work as a normal person selector and so that's data card value 13 um, and then I don't have to submit that I could submit it every time but then I don't know the ID of the item that's coming in yet so that's why we collect them first push them into SharePoint with the parent get the ID of the parent and then push that parent ID into um, these roles with a little um, um, ad or you know update if call on the collection so yeah so the ad reviewer all you need is grab the various elements you'll get um, and then it's a collection, so collect that. That will go into my nice collection here with the fields that I need in the correct format to push to SharePoint. And then for here, we just push that inside, pushing those three in, and then they will end up inside of my SharePoint list, like there, there, and there. So good examples of how to do that. Um, does speed up um, the time that you need when you're pushing content in. So any questions, just ask away. Um, I hope that's been helpful um, to show you that, that it is quite easy to collect SharePoint complex field types if you have that need. Cheers guys, bye.